Well, you must have had the time of your life. Did you do this in Louisiana? Did you film it there? Yes, we did, did sir. You lived in a trailer? <laughs> <laughs> sort of. Huh? For three months. Yeah. Natchitoches. Uh, I'm sorry? Natchitoches, Louisiana. It, which is outside of New Orleans. Oh, way Rouge. outside. It's way outside. Well, it's a beautiful film. Visually, it's beautiful. Um, American moviegoers are treated to oh, such an ensemble cast. And I'm going to presume that no ego got in the way. And uh, <laughs> I hope you all brought your Oscars to the rehearsals or oh, something. Yeah. Huh? Sure. I mean, <laughs> look at this. Olympia with one. Sally has two. And Shirley, as you know, won one for Terms of Endearment. So I was right the first time, four, or the second time, four Oscar winners here. Right here on my stage, I'm telling you, you all make me nervous. Look at here, four-time Grammy Award winner, Dolly Parton's with us. I hope Dollywood's going well and everything, and don't you just look nice? And what are you doing, eating birdseed for breakfast? You, are, you almost weigh nothing. Oh, I weigh plenty for my height. I'm just a little person, and I was fat so long, it feels good to be little for uh -huh. a change. <laughs> well... What must it have been like? I am pleased to report to you that Julia Roberts' uh, performance in this film is only perfect. Mm -hmm. And what was it like? Here, here. Good kid. I mean, come on. <laughs> Did they? Well, that's her mother's that's mom. My yeah. 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 And I'll tell you. I, Sit uh, up straight there. Sally's, yes. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Sally's her mother in this <laughs> film. Some of you may wonder whether this illusion will carry throughout the film. <laughs> and I want you to know it does. Well, it, it I does. have a 20-year-old son. What can I tell you? Well, this is the way this old looks now. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> this... Time of your life. Come on. Yeah. Well, was it? It wasn't dull. I it bet was... you. Uh huh. It was. Uh, so you were real confident you just hit your mark and that was that, or uh, what? I mean, did, was there any intimidation at all with the... Uh, intimidation? Yeah, with these World Series people you're working with here. N n no. They... No. They were... I mean, the first day of rehearsal, I was very nervous. Uh -huh. But within, like, I guess the first 23 seconds, everybody kind of took their place and, and understood each other, and there was... In scene 23. Oh, my God! Did I say that? Anyway, uh -huh. there was a lot of immediate bonding for me anyway. And they put me at ease, and they made, I think the greatest thing that they all did for me is they made me feel like I was an equal to them, so I, I wasn't nervous. And uh -huh. at the same time, I felt like I could say, I have no idea what's going on. Mm -hmm. And they would say, well, maybe yeah. I should tell you. Did you watch the dailies? <laughs> <laughs> did you watch the dailies? No. You don't do that? I mean, I watched them a couple times, but... You don't like them? It I just mean, depends. It intimidates you maybe a little bit. Uh, actors argue about this. You guys watch the dailies? Oh, Olympia, oh, I want to no, be no. just as grand as you are, no, no, no. and confident, too. No, 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 Shirley tried to get me there a couple of times, and finally, once she promised me that they had wonderful food, yeah, caviar. Yeah, <laughs> Shirley would go to the food. They had a great big spread, all that nakatish. So then I went that one time, and they had pizza, and you never showed up. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, I look at Shirley, and I think of the kicks, you know. I mean, she is way up there. Best looking legs, best looking body, best looking face in the business, triple threat. She looks like hell in this picture. They won't do anything for an award, Phil. I mean, they will never accuse you of vanity. What a wonderful performance you delivered in this film. You are the most cranky, cynical. The playwright... A film uh, screenwriter must be thrilled with what you brought to this. Uh, I mean, you did everything to yourself. You look like you might weigh like, uh, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, I mean, I decided when you get to be my age, you have to make a lot of decisions about your future. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you, you know, said, when, no Herbert, when Herbert called and he said, okay, what do you want to play? Herbert Roth. Uh-huh, and I, I picked... I picked the cranky one. I, I picked the real mean one. I, I picked the one who, who says, well, I bet you're such a nice person, you take the dishes out of the sink before you pee in it. <laughs> yeah, that's what you look for in a son-in-law. Uh, or a husband. I, the, uh... Didn't you get away with a southern accent? How'd you do that? Oh, Pronounce P-A-S-T. One, P -A -S -T. there's two. 
the There's two syllables past. in it. Past. The past. The past. See, peel, past. peel me a pear. Peel me a pear. Past. We had three separate past. accents in the film. Right. It was a little hard to keep straight because Dolly had one, Julia and one. I had another, <laughs> the real one. Yeah. And uh, Dolly and Daryl, Hannah, who's also in the film, she's not here, if we hadn't noticed. Um, <laughs> They have one accent, Julia and I have another, and, and Shirley and Olympia have altogether a different one. And they had the most difficult one. Cause plantation. It, it was called the plantation accent. It was mm -hmm. very, very difficult. It sounded a little New York, well, actually. That's <laughs> uh, um, you're right. <laughs> you're still alive, Sal. Thank God. Uh, uh, Julia, you were you not born in Smyrna, Georgia? I was. Well, my good woman. We got <laughs> well, we got to Ju go to here. Smyrna, my yeah. God. You probably went to school and put marbles in your mouth and everything else to get rid of the accent, did you, when you became a performer? Or no, wasn't well, it? Well, was I, I initially, I think the worst thing about a really a heavy southern accent is that you don't hear it. You don't know it's there. You know? And so I came to New York sounding like Ellie Mae Clampett and thinking that I was just like everybody else. <laughs> And I started to catch on when I would go to an audition and the, I would come in, hi, where are you from? And I thought, why is that always the first question? It's not how are you, it's where are you from? So I started saying, Connecticut? And that wasn't going on. <laughs> so I took a speech class. Well, uh, the uh, accents worked for me. I, I hope you don't be upset if I tell this audience that this picture puts an arrow in your heart. I have never seen uh, a script take and performances take an audience as this one does. And without giving every, anything uh, away here, in, in the most uh, heartfelt moment of this film, when you really wonder if uh, you're not going to have your whole emotional life altered, you get the biggest laugh in the film. You get the biggest laugh in a cemetery. That's the writing. Isn't that extraordinary? It's magnificent. Bobby and you did it. Well, you. with the help of my friends, <laughs> I reacted well. Yes, well, you did. Yeah. There, I think. I wasn't the only one there. All right, here we go. Where's my script here? Just a moment. Who would I give this to? I want, I want to just show you a piece of this. We got to let this audience in here. Um, all right, here is uh, the ever gorgeous and lovely... Uh, Shirley MacLaine, who incidentally in this film does not oversee a chain of charm schools. <laughs> here is, uh, here are uh, Shirley and who else is in the, the whole group's in this. All right, here's the town curmudgeon. Uh, uh, it is Shirley MacLaine and the rest of these talented people from Steel Magnolias. Roll this film. <laughs> Well, you're one of my favorite actresses, and I just wanted to know, you are the best crier I have ever seen. How do you do that so easy? I am? Yes. Cross yes. Sally. <laughs> it, it, it's very, it, I always thought I was, I, I like the way other people cry better. I, I have to work so hard at it. it I, it's hard. And when there's a crying scene, I, I worry about it. But thank you. You know, I'm going to say something. When she had her great scene at the funeral, there were all the rest of us whom they had to do close-ups of. Not only was she incredible in her own scene, but she did it full out for the rest of us when she wasn't even on camera. It was the most generous thing I ever saw an actress do. <laughs> First of all, we really lucked out today. This is great. <laughs> Could have been male strippers, you know, you never know. No. What you're doing. <laughs> Nothing could be this. Shirley, when uh, Phil introduced you, he made a little joke about the afterlife and all. I wonder if that ever bothers you about the jokes. Oh, well, not with Phil, because he's usually funny. Uh, <laughs> so that's okay. I think I make up half of them myself. I, I, I collect all the Shirley McLean cartoons, and <laughs> if I can stay up late enough, I listen to the late night jokes and mark them down, and then I'll put them in my act, you know. <laughs> It's all right, as long as they're not, most of them aren't um, devastatingly harsh. They're really kind of endearing, I think. It's a serious subject, and you need some comedy relief about it. <laughs> Sir. 
Yes, uh, Dolly, this is a very happy moment for me. I've always wanted to meet you. <laughs> from the hills of West Virginia. Pardon me? I'm from the hills of West oh, Virginia. Oh, well, you're a homeboy. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. What are you doing now, and what's up? Well, I'm on the road and uh, on tour now. I have a new group together called the Mighty Fine Band, and we've been traveling around all summer. Well, actually, ever since we finished the movie, I went home and put together a group and worked on a new album, which is out now, White Limousine. It's doing real well. So I'm just out there hoofing it, <laughs> enjoying it. Thanks for the compliment. Yes. Um, do you all think that the friendships you made during this movie are going to last oh, for a while? Absolutely. Or... <laughs> <laughs> no. What'd you say? What'd you say? I said, I love you all. <laughs> She'll grow up uh, soon. <laughs> or not. Yeah, oh yeah. This was really a special, special experience for that, um, getting to be around these women. And I know that we've made friendships and relationships that will last. It was just really a remarkable time. Yes. Uh, this is really awesome for me. I can't believe I was this fortunate. Do you, do you all get more nervous coming to this kind of a show than you would in performing in a film or a play? Or You all have so many talents. Does it bother you? I mean, do you get nervous coming here? I'm terrified right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's the baby. She was a uh, 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 real nervous. I, I, I think you always have a, a twinge of, oh my gosh, will, will I be all right? And, and you our never know what's going to happen, what you're going to ask. Yes. Yeah. Yes, the answer. Yes. <laughs> Don't, uh, you can't fool us, Olympia. I mean, nobody appeared uh, last year in one short time before more live human beings than you did on the, uh, on the campaign trail with your cousin Michael. Uh, I suppose there is a difference. I don't know. Uh, you took your questions and you watched him take his. Mm -hmm. That must have been a very... Uh, awesome. You're never going to forget it. No, I don't think so, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Um, just, uh, I think, recognizing uh, how um, his spontaneity and his honesty, and that that's really what it was all about. You don't have to plan anything. You just have to come from yourself kind yeah. of thing. That's the hardest thing to do, though. And you have more living relatives than anybody else I've ever met. <laughs> I do? Yeah. I, oh, oh, you do. I mean, uh, what a proud... Greek clan that had to be, oh, huh? Oh, yes. You really kind of walked tall, didn't you? Yes, yes, I think... You would have taken a win, but you really were very proud of him. Yes, that's very true. And the family. Right. We yes. should all have that kind of support. Dolly. Excuse me. I, in uh, reference to what you were talking about, I think different people react to the public in a different way. In fact, one of the reasons that Daryl is yeah. not here today, we didn't want people to think she, she's very shy and she's horrified yeah. of, a, of a big crowd. And she said, oh, please, you know, because she wanted to be with us so much, yeah. but she was just a little bit frightened. And of course, and I've she been... even left her hotel room because she knew we'd go up there and drag her down. <laughs> How we would have. So she I think it's away. different. Look, I know what she did. To this right now, <laughs> dying in some bar somewhere. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Girl doesn't drink. Yeah. Yes, oh. but you know, one thing is true about her. I mean, she believed in something. For example, uh, during the campaign, yeah. she came with me to New Orleans and she did a fundraiser for Michael Dukakis, and the first time in her life she stood up and she talked to people, mm -hmm. and she did it because she felt so strongly about what was going on, I really... She was proud of herself, but she was yes. terrified. I mean, uh, Daryl is so terrified of this that she really can't face it. We're going to have to talk to her, girls. <laughs> <laughs> She's real shy. She's Dolly, real shy. with the holidays coming up, are, are we going to see any more Christmas specials? Well, I didn't do one this particular year, but they still have some, some that they show every year. But next year, we've added a new addition to Dollywood. I might as well get a plug in here if I can. <laughs> Uh, we're going to have the park open all year, and I'm going to do a Christmas show from there every Christmas from then on, hopefully. But I love Christmas. I love doing it. Julia, is this your first movie? N uh, no, Steel Magnolias was my fifth oh. movie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but that's okay. Mystic Pizza, Mystic the name Pizza, she did. Uh, yes, her brother is Eric Roberts. Yes, they do come. Uh, she comes from a theatrical family. Um, we've established that you were born in Smyrna, uh, Georgia. We established Yeah. Uh, was it a big family, Eric and Julia, and who? I have um, an older sister, Lisa, and I have a younger sister, Nancy. Yeah. Uh, Julia, as you know, they're all, they're just, we should thank the Lord every day. They're just a lot of beautiful young women who do what you do and who are 
out there reading scripts too. And quite obviously, you, uh, you have the, more than the looks, you have the talent. I'm not sure when this awareness came to you or... Uh, uh, right about now. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Did you study or what is this? Just in the genes, tell us now, because maybe there's some other folks out there like to do what you're doing. <laughs> Well, Phil, <laughs> I really don't know. You didn't study. Um, I, I, I quit a lot of, of acting classes. And I actually... Um, Why? Because, because I, would, I, would be, I would find myself in an acting class and think, you know, I'm going to be in here and I'm going to learn how to act and it's going to be really great. And then suddenly I would realize that I was with people who, who in 10 years had done like a series of Kentucky Fried Chicken commercials. And not that that's a bad thing. Right. But there comes a point when you got to do more than yeah. pump chicken. And <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we have a time here. Doing good. She's a ringer. Oh boy, I tell you. Uh, Sally, from where I'm sitting, it looks like Bert really screwed up. Can you? <laughs> Uh, Sally, seriously, uh, can you tell us uh, oh, what, what happened? <laughs> Is there a question? I don't know. <laughs> I can't hear it's an observation. Mm. Uh, oh, good, he sat down. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Told you'd like this audience. I have a question for Shirley. Oh, dear. Um, I've read all your books, Shirley, and it fascinates me. It's, I'm very interested in it. In your last book, you talked about when you had workshops and you met with people and you do this kind of work, mm -hmm. how do you find out when and if you're doing them or how you're doing them or who gets invited to participate? I'm not doing them anymore. Uh, something happened to me when I was involved with that. It was so, um, it sort of caught the people who are interested in their own self searches imagination. And so, so many people were coming and it felt a little bit like they were giving away their power to me too much. And I didn't like that because that is not what it's about for me. For me, it's about sharing, searching and sharing and helping someone else do the same. And it, it began to get too burdensome, that kind of responsibility. And also the transfer of one's own individual power to somebody else is not what it's about. So I stopped doing them. You f appear to have created a, uh, a something here that became much bigger and... I think that's what happened, Phil. Uh, you'll also permit this personal observation. Mm -hmm. um, you did become there for a while, thank goodness. It only uh, lasted a little while. You were rather humorless, if I may say, and I don't think that's because you're some sort of bad person. I think it's because of this. You, I think, got a little tired of the laugh, the laughs and the kidding. and the, That's my opinion. Well, you mean getting tired of the well, laughs? Well, you said a me? nasty thing to David Letterman. Well, he's a jerk, <laughs> you know. <laughs> He was... That doesn't make me humorless. That makes me a uh, 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 but... human. Yeah, but it looked like you didn't even want to talk about what was in the book. You know, it looked no, like... I went on to talk about a picture I had made, and that was our agreement. And I said to him, I'm here to talk about Madame Suzatska. I was very proud of that. And he wanted to exploit... Yeah. yeah. No, he got a lot of stuff out of Dancing in the Light, all these lifetimes that I'd written about, that I realize I'm very aware of how exploitive that is, that kind of material. Yeah. And he had all these jokes lined up, you know, what he was going to make jokes about each of these. I saw that on the paper. And under that, I saw, if she won't talk about that, I'm going to ask her about her brother. I mean, all of that you is... saw that on a piece of paper? Yeah. That's why I took the paper away from him. Right. And right. then I thought, he's yeah. really, well, never mind what he really yeah. is, but the... Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, you want to see cut two? Well, what is it? What's the setup here? Let me just ask, do you, do you, uh, tell me about dance now and how much, if at all, that's going to be a part of your life. It seems like yesterday that you had the kicks way above the head, uh, gorgeous. I've still got, <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> I've got kicks lots of ways, not just above my head. Anyway, I'm going back on the stage in uh, February. 
a one-woman uh, mm -hmm. undertaking, huh? Let us see. Now, so you'll explain to all the old uh, male jocks out here how you keep the bod. Now, do you, uh, are you every day with the bar and the mirror? I do or? my yoga every day, but I'm basically lazy and um, it's But you can hard. get it back, can you? You really concentrate? I'm going to try this experiment of not trying so hard. I'm going to try doing it now without the old dancer's worry. I'm going to try to expect it to be easy and see what happens. So you can bring your head? Yeah. Sort of an oriental approach. Not to try so hard, but to, it's called the law of reversed effort. Mm -hmm. Relax and it'll all be fine. Oh, I want to know more about this. Uh, <laughs> want to see this? This, it's the group, the ensemble, all the players in this. Oh, this is, uh, you're pregnant and we're announcing this. And mom is only a little... It's the movie, mom. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, your beloved and devoted mother, Sally Field, is, uh, I can't remember her character name. Malin. 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 Is, uh, is, is conflicted about your pregnancy because you do have an illness. We won't give everything away, but, uh, you're gonna be all right, maybe, but nobody's sure. But the girls get together, and here's how they celebrate the event. The news. <laughs> nice. We got us a hit, and we'll be back in just a moment. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I just, I wanted to say that you guys are all great to be here, and thanks a lot. And also, I saw the play in New York, and I wondered if, you all, how much freedom you all felt as actresses to deviate from what the play was like and how similar it is to play the movie. Well, I felt a lot of, uh, actually, encouragement to go and to find my own way because what I noticed in the play, the character was constantly staged upstage and kind of away from the action. I don't know how many of you saw the play. No. But Clary was just kind of always upstage, like dealing with her cards and remember the, the recipes and stuff like that. And I thought, mm -mm, that's not gonna happen to me. <laughs> yeah. And it didn't. <laughs> I think you know, Sally's terrific. I grew up watching her on TV and I feel more like she's a friend than an actress. Oh, that's And nice. you look terrific. How do you stay so thin? I know you have a little baby. She's yeah. starved. Yeah, I starved. <laughs> I starve. It's just, you know, eat as little as you possibly can. When you feel faint, eat, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Olivia, before Moonstruck, where were you? In your, what were you doing? She where was, was in I? New well, Jersey with the whole theater. I was did in the middle of my life is where I was, and doing wonderful parts and plays, working with some terrific people, so working in New York, working in regional theater, doing some movies, nothing substantive, but that's changed, fortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I She's mean, working uh, more than anybody yeah. up here. Uh, <laughs> what'd you say? She's working more than anybody up I here. I know. What a what an event to get an Academy Award from Shazam out of the sky. This yeah. thing comes in. What a wonderful thing. I, you're, you're not even an egomaniac yet. She plays my leading man in the picture. That's why I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly, I love your music, especially your latest Yellow Rose, because I'm from Texas. Oh, uh, did you write any of the music for the movie? Uh, no, well, I did write some things, but they didn't make the movie, only because it seemed like it would be too much Dolly Parton, and, and they all felt, and I agreed, that the character I played was a bit removed from uh, the, you know, the over-exaggerated um, person, and so it didn't seem to be right. I had a contract to do it, and I could have forced the song in the movie, but I, after I saw the film back, I agreed that it was not right, so I was happy to just be part of this wonderful uh, group of people, and I think the movie's very special. But I'll be singing more and other things. Yeah. When is the movie coming out? November 5th. Uh, Sunday night is the world premiere here for us as far as press, and I think the mid-November. Uh, mid it, it opens November 17th. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
Here or everywhere? Every, uh, in 500 theaters. Oh. <laughs> Awesome. This woman is awesome. She's the accountant. Of She's That's, incredible. They call that wide, I think. I'll explain it to you. We go wide later, honey. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see. We've been alive in about a week. You have to get up early, as my mother said. You got to get up early with this one. Uh, Ted Danson and the producers of Dad will not be upset if I remind our audience that you star in this film, which I think is on the marquee now, mm -hmm. is it? Right. And. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, just want to get this in. Olympia presides over, along with a lot of other talented people, a uh, organization called the Whole Theater, which is uh, in New Jersey. Regional Theater, Professional Regional Theater, New Jersey. And you keep Chekhov alive, you and I am so impressed with your effort to make sure the oh, yeah. classics live and so he on. You came out and saw. I did. The seagull, right? Uh huh. And understood it. You know. <laughs> and had a few laughs even. Uh -huh. uh, so you're, uh, this, this is your background, your training? Oh, and, I've been uh, involved in this theater. You're a long way from MTV over there in Jersey, yeah. kid, I'll tell you. And, and shouldn't we celebrate it when you consider what might be happening to our beloved culture as we watch? Well, uh, culture is alive and well at the whole theater in Montclair, New Jersey. Thank yeah, you very much. I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. After working with a cast this incredible, yeah. will like your other movies be somewhat of a letdown? I'll say. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that's not. I, I just I just finished uh, a movie called Three Thousand with with Richard Gere. Um, that was tough on you, man. <laughs> and all the women. And now I'm I'm actually now I'm doing a movie which is um, an ensemble. It's just, it's the same number, but it's with um, but I'm the only girl. And it's me and Kiefer Sutherland, Kevin Bacon, Billy Baldwin, and Oliver Platt. And... Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Yes. I want to know how she gets such great movies with such incredible looking men. <laughs> Kevin Bacon, Richard Gere. I, I'm under a lucky Look star, I guess. Look at her, right. What's the difference? <laughs> yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, first, I'd like to say that this is quite a thrill to be in the same room with such tremendous well, talent. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> my question, my question is directed at Dolly. Um, I have followed your career for a long time, and I'm a great fan. And I was sorry to see your show canceled. And I just wondered if you had any other plans for something similar to that. Well, I have some plans to do more TV. I did my best to keep ABC at number three all that year. But I was. <laughs> time doing it and it did not sour me at all on doing TV and I plan to do some specials some movies of the week and I'm working on a 30 minute sitcom that I eventually hope to have on within the next year or two so it. I'm uh, I'll be back thank uh, you very much. I want to show you I don't know how in a very quirky turn in this script uh, Olympia buys a radio station they have the high school football games, and she does color. I think I don't think this will get on the air, but let's show it to this audience. What? Well, let's give them a try. It's in the movie. Yeah, but no. Well, this is all right. I mean, what's you know? But it's just exactly. Yeah. I don't know what. I have no idea what they're going to do. What's wrong with you know? If you've seen two. Right. If you've seen. You've seen two cheeks, you've seen them all. Put it here, way, you know? here is Olympia Dukakis in the high school football team locker room. Oh, Roll the thing. Got that great. <laughs> That's Steel Magnolias, and we'll be back. I'm shocked. I am shocked, and we'll be back in just a moment. Believe it or not, there are men in this picture. Now, you, you know him as uh, perhaps uh, he's most familiar to the most number of people because of his recurring role in Cheers. You know him from the movie MASH, The Turning Point, and Top Gun. Here is Sally's husband in the film, Julia's father, Tom Skerritt. Come on in here.
That may be the most wonderful entrance in the 23 years we've been on the air. I was going to shake your hand, Tom, but I can't imagine there being any thrill at all in that. <laughs> you in this film. I mean it. You are perfect in the film. I believed every moment. And tell us what a wonderful experience it was working with these uh, young oh, women. And I hope yeah. you didn't share a trailer or anything with these people. <laughs> well, you've, you've been here. You've seen what it is. Yeah. It's fun, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. Not intimidating. <laughs> yeah. He's reflecting. Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, he is. Uh, I and keep calling them great bunch of broads. Uh, you're, uh, you're, yes, yes, yes. And, and we are. You know what I mean. I was watching the clips and I enjoyed watching the clips, but I enjoyed watching you watching the clips. Do you, do you find it comfortable to watch yourself on screen or sometimes do you turn away? Sally. Huh? Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, um, okay, Dolly will take it. Dolly? <laughs> yes and no. Sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. This time it's particularly enjoyable because I'm watching them and um, it's just funny to watch them. You notice I haven't been in any of these clips, so... Uh, <laughs> and even when I am, I say very little, I'm not funny. So I'm enjoying them. Well, uh, I'll tell you this. I'm serious in this film. You I'm have the most funny. challenging scene in the film and boy, you deliver it too. Yes. What are uh, your favorite, your most favorite characters you've ever played? I know that you, that a lot of you have been um, in many different movies, Moonstruck, and in terms of endearment, I love that movie. Um, what are your favorite characters that you've ever played? Flying Nun. In the whole of my life, oh my goodness, uh, I guess. Well, I, I, maybe it's Mother Courage that I did last summer with my daughter, Christina, which I thought was a great, just a great experience doing that. The Mother in Long Day's Journey. Oh, oh my goodness sakes. Part. She's talking about Brecht and, you know. Got to be Norma Ray, Norma Ray, Norma Ray. Oh, gee, which is my favorite? Flying Nun, Flying Nun, Flying Nun. Flying I didn't say that. I'm trying to recover. Leave me alone. <laughs> um, uh, uh, gee, I don't know. I, maybe Sybil. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. How about you, Irma? No, Irma wasn't my favorite. Um, I liked the character in Some Came Running, Ginny yeah. Moorhead, like that. And then I love this imperious cobra-like mother in terms of endearment. <laughs> but you know, Phil, most, I don't know about the, about the other gals, but I usually like the one I just finished. <laughs> the one nobody's seen yeah. and you don't know. And you have done a love scene with Jack Nicholson. I, uh... <laughs> I wonder Sheer if you'd be free. Age pleasure, you know. <laughs> Perhaps you'd be free to do another show for us where we'll discuss just that issue. Yes. Dolly, nine to five, you had to be thrilled with that. Mm, I mean, I played Dora Lee, the secretary, but I made a better whore than the secretary. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the madam. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> How did you like working with Cher? Oh yeah, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We had better uh, take a, a break. Tom, try and just button it up a little bit. We've got a lot of uh, people want to talk here. Uh, Tom Skerritt will never be accused of being pushy, and we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> stars of Steel Magnolias. You know what, uh, Shirley, I, I so loved uh, Terms of Endearment, and I came out of that theater saying to myself, I never would have bought this script. A lot of other studios felt that way, too. You know what, you can't see it on the piece of paper. Yeah, I and I wondered about this thing, too. I mean, it's such a wonderful film, but I think I'd say, wait a minute, I don't see it here. I must say, you know, we, we haven't been speaking about it. Um, uh, Ray Stark made this film and saw to it that it got made, and it was not a, an easy picture to make. I, it was turned down many, many places, and Herbert Ross is the director, and he did a fabulous job at sort of shepherding us and you know, quieting us down so they could roll the camera. And, uh, yeah. and really, uh, I thank them both. I mean, right. 
The other thing I have to wonder, and of course, uh, this is just me being, uh, you know, a little impertinent again. I mean, this must have been an expensive cast. Oh, we Holy work for nothing. Come on. <laughs> You're going to have right. to open really right. wide and uh, four and two and all the rest of yeah. it. Huh? We we actually did yeah, we less also. money than uh, we normally would because we all like believed half, in this so much. No kidding. Truly. Uh -huh. Like three quarters. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But we can assume that, uh, Tom, keep it down. We yeah. would. <laughs> One host, Tom. I almost got a sentence Tom. out. Huh? I almost got a sentence out. Go yeah. ahead. <laughs> um, okay, but you, uh, as the film enjoys its, its uh, success around the world, Presumably. No, we're not participating. <laughs> Do you find drama more difficult to act than comedy, or it's... it's this is both, we should which, say. Which is, say. Is it both? It is both. Like when you're doing movies, which do you find more, more difficult to, to act? Who are you asking? Doesn't matter. Take a swing, Sally. Sally. Tom! 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 <laughs> Tom! Well, first of all, I think that... <laughs> I think, uh, I think, I think the, the Herb, Herb and, and Ray had this problem with these ladies. It, it, it was, he was, they were often more like um, road managers for the Ina Ray Hutton all-girl band. <laughs> something in defense of Tom a while ago he said something and a lot of people a lot of people this time no when he said when he called us bras I know how sensitive some people are about those kinds of things this man was such a gentleman yeah. treated us all so wonderful just like his own mother and sisters and daughters so I didn't want anybody out there to think that he was insulting Aren't us so that we were a great kid kid for doing that. Yeah. Shirley, you are just awesome in my book. And my very favorite film was Tear, uh, Terms of Endearment. You and Jack Nicholson were absolutely fantastic. The chemistry was just something else. Are there any future films with him? We, we, I wanted to do maybe a sequel to uh, the film, What Would Happen, <laughs> you know, when... She and the astronaut were next door, and the daughter is now dead, and how she would deal with his uh, starlets that would come and raid his icebox. But uh, Jim Brooks didn't think so. Then maybe it's best to leave it well enough alone. I would love to work with him again, and maybe the telephone book would be fine. I wouldn't care about the script. Over here. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, I, I just want to say, I've seen each of you in, in several movies, and I really enjoyed you, Julia, and Mystic Pizza. You brought so much enjoyment to our, give us a chance to escape, which is a great thing to do. It seems so much here lately. Um, what got you started, though, uh, Sally, and what made you decide that you wanted to be an actress? Why did you... It's um, rather daring. I, I just was born an actress. I had no decision. It just was stamped on my forehead. I was always going to be an actress. And then I was discovered uh, standing on a street corner, literally, when I was uh, 17. And uh, they asked me to come try out for something. I didn't know what. And it turned out to be for a television series called Gidget. Mm. <laughs> and we'll be back in just a moment. Looky here. <laughs> We're almost out of here. Uh, here is a personally signed autograph from all of these stars. Is it your birthday? Yes, sir. Are you Ralph? I'm Ralph. You have my congratulations. That's for you. From the stars of Steel Magnolias. Hang on a minute. What in this? Yeah. Go ahead. Sally Field, I loved you in Murphy's Law. That was one of the Murphy's best movies Law, you did. Loved. It's great. Romance, but thank you very much. Services provided and promotional fees paid by the following.